about the soil the way G.I. Rodale thought about it, and you start thinking about the biological principles that support the life of the soil, then it becomes easy to understand that if the soil is alive or filled with living organisms, we do have to feed those living organisms. In fact, if you take an acre of, of land that's uh, re farmed reasonably well, and you took all the microbes out of that soil and put them on a pile, it would weigh over a ton. The perfect co uh, food to feed that microbial life in the soil is compost. So we have a, a very active compost production program here at the Institute. You may have noticed or may have heard that we do not have animals on our farm. We have no livestock. I tell everybody we have scientists. We have all the, you know what, we don't need more. So what we need to do is we need to bring in the raw ingredients from off-site to make our compost. We do use uh, plant material that we might generate in the gardens. We also have a food waste composting program. But most of the material, it comes in the form of leaves from trees from your local municipalities. This windrow here that's in front of me that Owen's going to turn for us here in a minute is actively being managed to try to form compost. And if you look at it, it doesn't look like leaves on a tree anymore. It's beginning to look very much like soil. We're not really using it as a fertilizer. We're using it as a soil amendment and a microbial food. We're trying to feed those microbes. And so that one ton of animals can eat 10 tons of this over a period of, of some time. When we first started our composting operation here, we were using a manure spreader and a front end loader to mix and turn our, our compost. It was time consuming and the quality of our product was not, not as, as good as we'd have liked it to have been. And so we looked at, at how we could go about designing and building a compost turner that was different from what was commercially available. The way the turner is set up now, it's in turning mode. But Owen can turn those front wheels 90 degrees, the rear wheels 90 degrees, and we can drive it down the road like a truck. We have to turn the compost five times in 15 days, maintaining a temperature of a minimum of 130 degrees Fahrenheit over that period of time.